time. You know, when my husband and I were having problems getting pregnant a few years ago, he suggested in vitro. I was so excited. I thought he met the hot Italian guy next door. <laughs> but you know what? Apparently not. And he's in the audience, so we won't go there. <laughs> Then he, of course, asked me, well, would you have an affair? I said, well, you know, I maybe, but in vitro actually wants me to lose weight, buy sexy underwear, and shave my legs, so you know that ain't happening. <laughs> A friend of mine asked me, she goes, well, would you leave your husband? And I said, well, no, I really do need him for the HOV lane. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a good thing I didn't have kids, because I actually find them weird and embarrassing, and you know what I mean. Nose picking, cape wearing, projectile vomiting, pants wetting, bed wetting, and they blurt out all sorts of bizarre family information at very inappropriate times. And when I've already got a husband covering all that, why don't I want you? <laughs> You know, every time I lose weight, I take all my clothes and give them to charity. Problem is, two months later, I'm down to Sally Ann, wrestling a homeless person. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I don't give them all away. I actually have a closet full of clothes, everything from XX small to XX large, or as I like to call it, no freaking way on any day now. <laughs> Probably tomorrow. <laughs> People keep telling me I'm on a yo-yo diet, and I have no idea what they're talking about. I've tried weight losers, Jenny, what's her name, and all the usual ones, and I've never found this yo-yo diet. I wonder if there's strings attached. It's highly probable that it's Chinese, and in which case I'm in because I love Chinese food. <laughs> My husband, God bless him, he drives me crazy. But I find that drinking helps. <laughs> but you know, I really didn't want to hurt his feelings, so I, I told him I was an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> what I am addicted to is infomercials, and I have been forbidden to watch them, but I do. And the other morning, my husband came into the living room, it was 3 a.m., and there I was, glued to the TV. Cell phone in one hand, credit card in the other, ready to shop. He walks in. I was so ashamed. But mostly pissed off that those sleeping pills didn't keep him knocked out longer. <laughs> I'll take my stronger ones next time. Don't tell him I said that. When my husband was really ill, the doctor said to me, you know, we may have to pull the plug. And I said, no, no, please don't. Let me do it. <laughs> I'm middle-aged, and, well, that's assuming I live to be 114. <laughs> I'll let you do the math. When you get older, I find it's best to wear what I call camouflage clothing. You know, tops with swirling patterns, they really just confuse the eye. From the side, five months pregnant. From the front, who knows what's going on? <laughs> My friend said to me, she goes, Joanne, I saw you at that party the other night, and you were really grooving to the music, really dancing. Well, I wasn't dancing. I was just doing everything in my power to keep myself head on to everybody in the room at the same time. <laughs> just like I'm doing now. And man, that's a lot of work. I told my husband I wanted to try stand-up because I wanted to follow my dreams. And he said, you know, I thought your dream was to sleep with in vitro the Italian guy. <laughs> well, I did just shave my legs. <laughs> Thanks, you. <Stephen. Woo! laughs>